What's up, guys? We're here. We're ready to do the airsofty thing. So this is the Glock that I got for Christmas. It's an AW Custom VX9. Uh, the flashlight Jeff got me. It's a little, little. It's, it's like kind of flush with the rest of the gun, and I really enjoy that. It's not like a huge, like chunky thing, like the Olight or the TLR, which I really enjoy. Uh, I don't have a magwell for it yet, but hopefully that will be something we do next. Today we've got some really exciting internal upgrades uh, that I'm looking forward to installing. How it is right now, it's shooting. 240, 237, 240, 244. Oh, I know we're going to see some increase in those numbers and just more gas efficiency. Because this gun uses green gas, we want every shot to use like the most efficient amount of gas as possible so that's what we're doing today we've got some parts that are going to go up here and i'll explain them as we go through them and we got some parts that are going to go down here i can also explain those so these screws go right here this is going to hold the hop-up housing uh and the barrel and the bucking is in there as well once you take out those two screws you open it up easy peasy and when it's open then we can see the wheel the bucking is this black thing right here it's got a little ring around it to hold it in there's a lot of lube in there and i actually don't want that in there so i'm gonna take it out I'm gonna clean it and then i'm gonna put it back together with the new screws <laughs> this little nub right here is actually gonna line up with this little guy right here it's easy peasy so this this just lines up and we just squeeze it in there and we hold it the arm needs to sit in a in like the proper spot otherwise the housing itself is not going to close properly all righty boom it's all set there we go much better you guys can see actually like pretty close the screws are going to help me get the rest of the way and so these are the old screws we don't need those anymore we're going to use these new screws and these new screws i wonder if you'll be able to see but the new screws are actually allen key um so i'm gonna be able to tighten them a little bit better so i'm gonna just take off this little screw which holds the sight on the other end wow. now we gotta take this out so this is one of the parts that we were talking about that's gonna increase like the gas efficiency as well as provide a better seal, so it's gonna get us a little bit higher FPS. This, guys, is the burger. Um, specially designed, beautiful, well done. I can't wait to put it in the gun, see how it shoots. On the top of the piston head is just a little screw, so I'm gonna take that out with the screwdriver, but the replacement is gonna also be an Allen key, so I'm gonna need to find it. All up, and then beep, beep, just the and there we go. Nice. We get a little bit of the excess gunk off the outside of this, and then I'm gonna loop up the opening before I put this back on. Just a little bit. I'm gonna massage her in there. And we're gonna spin it and put a little bit. Alrighty, putting that back on, making sure it's moving properly, and we're good to go. Now we can just put the upper back together, and I can get started working on the lower, and that should not take very long. Parts that I got are already installed. Exciting! This is just gonna go back in the front. The orange tip is killing you, yeah, but because I wanted to do it on live and I wanna post this on YouTube, I just really wanted to be safe with it, you know? Yeah. Noise! Upper done and I'm just gonna put it and we're gonna hold it on the side so it's not in the way. So next up we have these two frame pins. I wonder if you guys can see them. And the colors, they've got like a little bit of a purple hue to them. And then in here we have a butter gen 2 bearing. 
Um, I'll show you guys the difference of this bearing versus the one that's already in the gun. It was easier with the screwdriver. Just keep this in there and move that guy all the way out. This one. And now, oh, I feel like you can kind of see it. Kind of see the purple on there. Now we're going to take the back pin and this stuff out. So if I remember correctly, next I need to take out this little screw that's in the corner. This guy out of here, which is not my favorite part at all. Nice. Then we've got this thing, which I'm probably gonna need Jeff's help with, but I'm gonna try and remember the things that, that I remember. This whole thing is held together by the pin, and there's also this little springy guy right here. Now, and then a little boop. Because everything just shifted and pretty much fell apart on its own nice all right so this I can hold on to for a minute I don't need that just yet I I'm gonna need this pen that's gonna be the worst part to put back in but it's gonna be okay this is the bearing guys that it comes with this is the stock see how it's just like oh, one whole unit here we have the other one actually has these bearings in it so it's multiple pieces that can move independently and this one just moves all as one. And we'll keep the gun from cycling smoothly. Guys just gonna seat back in there. Ooh, and there's a little click. So this little guy right here I'm gonna go ahead and set it in there now. That is just gonna line up with the holes so this little nub through the hole is how I like to do it. And now he's just chilling in there. So pretty much this all needs to line up in there. So if I, I'm not showing it properly, I apologize. It's just because I'm trying to get it to line up. I like to line it up so there's this little spring on this side here. I like to line it up so the spring is already resting on the ledge. Right there. Push my index finger in here. So now I'm gonna ask for Jeff's assistance to put something in between to place hold the hole that I have now just created. Now the hard part is putting in this pin. It's not gonna be that hard now that I've moved everything the way I need it to, but it's also one of my least favorite parts. So I'm gonna try and slowly remove the screwdriver while I place the pin in. All right, please put the pin in. Oh, okay, I see where it's Ah! There we go. I did it. It doesn't sit flush with it, so it's got a little nub and it sits out with it. But then, boom, this side is flush and in there! This shit is like freaking the consistency of butter, yo. Like, that's weird. So first, we're gonna find the little hole of this thing. It's gonna line up with the hole on the frame. Push the trigger back just a little bit so I can get this guy in here. Push the hole. Thanks so much. So like I said before, when we started this, the feet per second that I was getting out of the box, I did have an upgraded bucking, but pretty much out of the box, it was 240 pretty consistently. 
uh, with two fives. So now we're going to shoot it again with two fives and we'll see what we get. We're about 10 more feet per second on average after all the upgrades. Um, initially, it was shooting more towards like uh, the ends of 230, early 240s. And now we're seeing pretty consistent above 240s, some 250s, uh, even this one, which is like almost 260. Pretty crazy. So I'm actually really happy with, with the, the way that it's shooting now. Um, the way that the slide is moving feels considerably smoother. Uh, so now there's not so much hold up back here. Oh, sorry. Hold up back here when I'm sliding it back. Check out Remcode on Instagram. Yeah, guys, we did it. Thank you so much for joining today while we did that. That was a lot of fun.